is Isobar. Uh, it works using a chemical process to provide a long-term cooling effect for vaccine delivery. The problem with the current vaccine distribution system is that they're thermally unstable. So they are unable to provide the temperature ranges that vaccines need. Uh, most of them use ice or cold packs and um, they generally freeze vaccine uh, to below what it needs which means that the vaccine loses potency and people don't, um, aren't able to get their vaccine safely. Uh, and it's, it's unknown and it kills hundreds of thousands of people each year. Isobar is a system of three components. First of all, there's the backpack, which stores the vaccine. Second of all is the cooling unit. And third of all is the propane burner. The cooling unit itself uses a chemical technology to provide a long-term charge. You can charge it using either electricity or propane. Electricity would be more sustainable and easier to access and the propane is for emergency use. So when all the other systems fail in vaccine distribution, such as the cars break down, the electricity goes down and people just don't get their vaccine in time. This unit can stabilize vaccine distribution by allowing um, people to recharge on the go anywhere in the world. The key innovations are miniaturizing the valve technology um, to make sure that the pod is small enough to carry. 